Get by yourself and close your eyes and be still. Know that you are God. You are God. Be still. Know that you are God. You get by yourself, I promise you, things will start unfolding in you. You're going to see layers and layers and layers. I'm still discovering myself. Confidence in who you are is the consequence of a superstar. And I claim it. I will always do my best. This is what I offer you. You treat me with royalty like a famous brother do. That will never think it is. All of it in my head. You just be about leadership. Equals I'm a living brain. Black women are independent and strong headed. Now, I'm going to read to you what I wrote in here, and then we can talk about it. I said, this is very true, and there is a legitimate reason for it. First and foremost, we were created this way, bottom line. We are built to be the first teachers of our children. We are the sustainers of life for our babies physically and sustainers for our men spiritually. An independent woman is not a bad thing. But when she is forced to be too independent due to the man leaving her with all the responsibilities, her independency is now translated as just being strong-headed. Many brothers can't handle a sister who is strong-headed, for she has a problem taking any suggestions from the man. Independent women are created. Strong-headed women are made. When your mom said you on your way that day, I'll say I knew was holy. Could have been anywhere, but your soul is here. Every day grateful you chose me. As your father, I'm a conqueror. Any circumstance has brought on us and strike on us. Uphold off the line with the highest grace and honor. That's my promise. That's every step I take, every hurdle I jump, every wall I fall back. But to see you smile and make you proud because I saw that. Sparkle in your eyes was about my time. You travel through. Your world is a heavenly paradise. I'm glad I'm passing through. Our thing is that we we do not know who we are as black women. And so I believe that if we're talking about solutions, the first step that we need to know is who we are, where we come from, why we are here. Those three things you must really know, who you are, where you come from, and why you are here. Because if you don't know that, then you are already in trouble. I will always do my best. This is what I'll offer you. You treat me with royalty like a famous brother. Because we were forced to be independent, we were, we're, we're taught or forced to think like them. And really, if you think about it, if you think about it, in order for a lot of times, in order for the black woman to um, communicate with the black man, she really actually has to think like him. If we talk to him from our own thinking, you know what they're going to hear? Womp, 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 womp. That's what they're going to hear. But we have to talk to them in their own language. I will always do my best. This is what I offer you. You treat me with royalty like a pharaoh's daughter do. The world at my fingertips, all of it in my hand. You teach me about leadership, equals and we're living grand. Tell us how beautiful we are. Tell us that, tell us we're smart. We're looking for that, you know, that, that type of daddy type thing. You know how we always be wanting our daddies to um, really appreciate or, or be proud of what we do? There's a lot of things that are taboo to even talk about when it comes to the black woman, but, you know, we cannot heal. We cannot heal as black women, and we definitely can't say, you know, walk into our divinity as black women if we don't get rid of some of this garbage, some of this trash 
that is going on within us. And at the same time, some of that stuff is myth. So I'm I'm not gonna say total trash because sometimes people, you know, they they're out they're outside looking in on us.